Hello everyone and welcome back to yet another Pad the Nomad travel vlog. You join me in the Gibbon experience. We are currently in the most insane place I have been and we have been to some awesome places in this travels. I'm going to turn around from this view because you can't see me. There we go, that's a bit better. We are staying in the Gibbon experience which is uh, this uh, organisation that is based in the Bokeo province. Bokeo province, sorry, in northwestern Lao. We are within the Can Nam National Park and our being here and our staying here is helping with the conservation of this massive area as you've just seen. There are eight of us on this tour, uh, which is the classic tour. So it's three days, two nights day and we'll be staying in this tree house. As you can see right now, I am on the top floor. There are three floors in this tree house. It is state of the art and it is world leading. It is well, there are eight or nine of them, but these are the tallest tree houses in the world. And their tagline is actually childhood fantasy mixed with reality. You want to live in a tree house. And here we are down there to the forest floor, maybe 100 meters to the bottom of that valley. And I've got this view from kilometers around me of nothing but wilderness. And hopefully in the morning we'll be hearing and seeing some of the gibbons. Right now, I'm going to go ahead and show you what we did to get right here and then you'll come back and I'll show you some more of this treehouse. Now you've seen the insane day that we've had truck hiking and zip lining really i was not expecting that we find ourselves ready to settle down for the night have some dinner and chill out i'm gonna take you with me i've got to be careful though because some of these steps are pretty insane but we have three tiers like i've said state of the art world leading tree houses it is just ridiculous so now on the second floor there's not too much we've got a nice little hammock pretty decent view as well still um, i'm not sure where i'm going to be staying yet but my idea is to get up super early and see as much as i possibly can using my little binoculars we've got my all my fellow gibboners down here we've had some whiskey made from rice so you can't complain with this and yeah we're just fully enjoying this experience tomorrow we're going to be doing a little bit more exploring around the forest more zip lining etc go to another tree house uh, see what we can see. I'm going to keep a, a, a checklist of all the species I've seen. I've seen about four or five different bird species so far, but we haven't been looking much and we've been doing a lot of walking, so there's plenty more to be seen. But the overall aim is to show you what this experience can give to you. Uh, it's not even that expensive in the grand scheme of things and what we're doing here. Staying in tree houses, zip lining everywhere, more than worth it. So Hopefully, I'll be able to give you a really good insight of what we do when you come and stay here at the Gibbon Experience. And other than that, I'm going to go and chill out for the evening. So, bye-bye. Good morning, good morning. 
hats on, he's camping, one of our guides, awesome oh, dude, morning, morning. Day number two now, strange night's sleep, very solid bed. Got up bright and early, but it was far too foggy to see anything, so. Ah, well, an amazing breakfast brought to us on this zip boy. Here, they literally bring the food across in Tupperware boxes. Nice full belly of breakfast. Now we're about to go for a bit of a hike and a bit of a zip line off to another tree house. See if we can see any gibbons there. Then we'll come back and hopefully this fog will have cleared a little bit. Nothing less to do than to uh, get the boots on, harnesses on. Let's go. There we go. So one of the best things about traveling around with guides is that they'll teach you about jungle medicine. This horrendous looking stick here, which tastes also horrendous. Basically imagine what a plant root would taste like. This is what it tastes like. I'll give it to Campy. Apparently it's very sweet for him. It helps you. He likes the medicine. It tastes like medicine. Not nice. But it helps you if you've got a runny stomach and you can't stop going to the toilet. So if I was in dire need, I would be taking this, but out of choice, not again. No, thank you. Aniseed. We're going to put this in our tea later and have a licorice aniseed tea. Ooh. Back again, different guide. We've got two. This is Kamlat. This is a sour leaf. Uh, something different. What is it in Lao? Somlum. Somlum. Yeah. So this actually medicinal wise can be used for itching. So if you've got an incredible itch, you would boil this in your hot water and take a bath with it or rub it on the affected area. It's also edible uh, and it is, as the name suggests, rather sour. You can either eat it as a snack, not that it's going to fill you up much, or you can boil it in your fish soup, apparently. It makes the flavour really nice, but uh, I'm quite enjoying the little refreshing taste. Quite sour, though. Still nice. Very cool. Welcome back. It is about two o'clock in the afternoon. Um... We've been back, had lunch, and our people are just chilling out before we go out again later on to do more zip lining and potentially watch the sunset over at the other tree house, which is going to be beautiful, I'm just sure. You find me not chilling out. I am indeed looking for some more animals. I've seen a couple more awesome bird species today. Um, and I'm trying to find at least one or two more, but the best vantage point in Treehouse 1 is actually <laughs> by the toilet. This is your view. As you can see, I've got a, an un, in, uninterrupted, <laughs> I can't speak, uninterrupted view down into the canopy here. I can see all the way up into the top of the canopy over the other side, which is supposedly one of the main places you see the gibbons. Within the next hour, we're gonna head back out, like I say, and do some more zip lining so a little bit more time but this is my relaxing if you want to relax in your own way there are beds and our hammocks and there is plenty of ways to just chill out but yeah this is me As you may have seen, our awesome guide, Camlat, has taken us out for a little bit of extra zip lining because it's 
been slightly disappointing with the lack of gibbons. So we're making up for it in lots of zip lining. I apologize for breathing heavy. I'm climbing up here because we're about to go to the most insane one, which is the zip line from treehouse number two. We decided after a couple of hours of chilling that we just wanted to go out and do more. So there's a central hub where there's about six different zip lines that come off it. And we've just been doing circuits basically. Yeah, it's so cool, so cool. Got a couple more now before we head over to treehouse number four and we look for some gibbons there and then watch the sunset. It's the one place to watch the sunset here at the Gibbon Experience, so that's gonna be class. Okay, so the third, third and final day here at the Given Experience. Cam Lat here chilling with us. We're on what's called the central hub, the main hub. As you can see, we've got zip lines in all directions here. Tree houses galore, even multiple stories. This morning we got up bright and early. That is 5 a.m. before it was even bright. Came here to the central hub to watch the sunset over there, as you would have seen. When we were doing a bit of zip lining this morning, the fog was just like a blanket, just a carpet of white across the trees. It was one of the most beautiful things I've seen, genuinely. And then we were treated to the sound of the gibbons, which hopefully you were able to hear in the audio, but we'll see in the edit. Either way, final day, bit of extra zip lining now. Enjoy our final few hours, and then we'll be hiking back in that direction, back to the dome, have some lunch, and then finally back to Huayge. So I'm gonna go enjoy myself and I'll see you in a bit. So as you can see, we are now out of the jungle and our time at the Gibbon Experience is very nearly over. Here on the channel, I am trying to deliver a very real and honest experience of everything that you see me do. And therefore, in my opinion, the Gibbon Experience is 100% something you should do. <laughs> It has been amazing. I have enjoyed it so, so much the entire time. But also bear in mind that this is my experience and I'm okay with the fact that we didn't see gibbons because I know that they are wild. This is a conservation project for an entire national park, not just for gibbons and not just for tourists to come and see gibbons. For some people, this type of experience might not be for them. There is a decent amount of hiking. And as you can see from the mud there, when it rains, it does get quite difficult. But I think for the large majority of people, it is really something that they should do. Not only because you get a lot of personal rewards um, from being out in nature, middle of nowhere, but also because the money is helping in such a vast proportion. So there you have it. That is my honest review of the given experience. I hope you have enjoyed watching it as much as I have enjoyed doing it. Not much left to say now then people, other than please leave a like, comment if you wish and I will reply and subscribe to the channel for more awesome content because I promise you, I'm just gonna keep on coming with it. Thank you very much and I shall see you in the next one. Bye-bye. My sides